Hi, this is Kathy Michelena from CD Art Studio. I'm recording this video at our studios in San Jose, California. And today we are going to be doing a glass, we call them glass ornament sticks. And they're very, you know, colorful. You can see it here. Some of the pieces are opal uh, solid bullseye and some of them are see-through so you can see that it has different shades and colors this is a project that is going to be offering you the opportunity to place you know the glass in the way that you want and create your own style so you will be the one deciding how much color you want in certain areas i always try to balance my pieces and see and figure out you know i want i want red all over the place so i want to make sure that i don't put it all in one place but this is very personal so feel free to do it your own way um, i'm going to teach you the technique of how to place the glass but ultimately you will be the one deciding how much of which color you want in each, each part of your project when you order your kit, you're going to be receiving a box like this one. And inside that box, <laughs> you're going to find a clear glass that is gonna be used for the base. And then you're gonna be having nine different colors. Some of them are gonna be, you know, see-through and some of them are gonna be very solid. And we, we're gonna provide you with nine of them and enough so that you can you know decide how much of each color you want to have and you don't basically run out of them but we ask you to please because we're going to provide you with more than what you need we ask you to please bring that glass back to the studio when you are planning to drop off your project to be put in the kiln okay so with this introduction i'm ready to change my camera and show you how we're going to do this project Okay, so I started to place all my materials so that I have an idea of, you know, the colors that I have. And what I usually like to do is I like to, to put them all in a, in a craft paper. If you have any white paper or anything that where you can use as a base, the idea is that you can see the shapes of your glass so that you make the decision of where you wanna place it, okay? I still like to have them in different places so that um, I still can see, you know, the contrast of the colors and where do I wanna place those colors, okay? So I'm now going to focus a little bit more on my piece, on my clear glass up here a little bit of a zoom you can see and I'm going to start placing the glass in places that you know trying to organize the the piece as I wanted Bef before I start putting glue on I kind of place them around to see who I would like the colors to to be, you know, distribute in my piece. So, I usually try to use on my background colors that I'm not necessarily using on my main picture. And I think I want these flowers to be maybe one blue. And then one yellow so i start deciding the colors that i want for my flowers first and after i decide what colors i want my flowers to be then i start working in the background i'm going to be using some of the orange here So 
I'm going to decide which colors I want inside my each of my flowers. One of them I'm gonna be doing it with green, another one I'm gonna be doing it with um, yellow, and this one here I think that I want it to be white. So with these flowers in place, I'm gonna be starting to work on the background. And some people will, you know, decide to start working right away with glue and that's totally fine. I feel that sometimes when I'm working with a lot of colors, I like to place the colors on the clear glass to see how they look and then and then decide later whether I want them there or not. Again, because I'm using some yellow here close and I don't want the attention of the, my flower to go away. I'm trying to use then yellow on the opposite side. That is usually what I, what I do when I'm working with a lot of colors, making sure that they're contrasting and that you don't see them so close to each other. I want this part to look a little bit, you know, like grass. You're going to be having in your kit, like this glass, these are glass sticks, and they're gonna be coming in three different sizes, and those are gonna be used like the, you know, for your, for the flowers, and they're totally, you can break them just like this and then place them in the place that you want them. I want this one to be a little bit shorter. Oh, it went too short, but it's okay. So I'm gonna put this one a little bit down. Okay, like that. Very good. So I said that I want this one to look a little bit grassy, so I'm gonna put some of my green. The nice thing about this green is that you have two sizes, one that is, you know, pretty dark and another one that is a little bit more shiny, so you can decide which side you want them to show more. Like this, okay. So I think that I'm going to be using some of the see-through. Framing my piece. And I'm actually going to not try not to use any of the colors that I had in my flowers. They, this is just me, it's very optional, you know, this is very personal uh, type of work and there is nothing really, you know, right or wrong. It's just whatever it feels like you want for your piece to show. So I'm trying to create a lot of contrast from the colors that I have in my flowers by using other colors around. <clears throat> I'm gonna use the back part of this orange that offer me a little bit of orange and also yellow. And there's some white that I I, I want to have some white also. So I'm framing a little bit my, my ornament. And again, there is no right or wrong. It's more of a taste to how you feel like you want your piece to be. So for now, I think that this is, I'm pretty happy with 
the way that I place the colors, I like the contrast that this one has here with just one dark and then the other one's a little bit more bright. And I'm, I know for sure that I want the flowers and I want these colors here. So I'm gonna be starting to glue my pieces. And I go one by one, just put one dot like this and I start placing them. This blue has two sides. One that is a little bit, I don't know if you can see it, this, this side is a little bit more dark and this one has some like shininess when you move, move it against the light. So I'm gonna choose to put this one up because after it comes out of the kiln, it's gonna show the difference. So pay attention if you're if your glass has some choices in terms of one being one side being more shiny than another one or light brighter than another one, um, make your choice. So I do one by one. If you see, this is actually the same the same glass. It's just that this one is on the yellow side and another one is on the orange side. Very good. Again, I'm going to make sure that this blue has the shiny part on the top. This one also has that choice. I'm going to make sure the red one that is a little more shiny shows. And the yellow too has that. Most of the colors that have the, uh, you know, this see-through have that differences and one side is a little less shiny than the other one so and some of the uh, colors that are not see-through that are like what we call opal they might not have any difference and some of them might have lighter color on the opposite side like in this case the green and the orange shows that but the yellow no is exactly the same the yellow I should have put the green one first. Whenever you have a piece that is surrounded by other pieces, you want to put the center first, just to make it a little bit easier for you. You can decide what shape you want your flower to be. If you want it to be a little bit more square or more abstract, I'm gonna be putting some blue on my stick here. This is glass too. We call it glass spaghetti. <laughs> my girls call it like that, my, my daughters. So I call, I use it the same name. They come flat and they also come like straws. So that's why they call it a spaghetti. They actually look a spaghetti, some of them. This one not, but we sometimes work with some that are a little bit uh, thinner. Okay, so I'm gonna start to work on my orange and I'm gonna make the same mistake. I'm gonna work first on my center. And then after that, I'm gonna work on the side of my flower. Mm, I'm changing my mind and I'm wondering if I want this one to have a little bit of shade. So I'm going to be, instead of using this side, I'm going to be using that side. This is what is so cool about working with all these uh, shades of glasses. You really can change your mind and allow yourself just to 
experience and experiment with different colors and shapes and I'm gonna be using instead of this one I'm gonna be use this one on the top so I'll put some glue here and voila oh I love that flower it's uneven and I like it now I will be working on my last flower here I'm gonna take all the blue out I'll start with the center and from there I start putting my blue all around last I do my stick there cool then I add some some glass here to make it look like there is some grassy area and I'm going to be doing more of a glass area here well let me see how it looks with some some other colors oh I like this blue I only had one of those so it's fine you might you might find some different you know blues in your colors or different shades of green so this is like I'm not very convinced about this one here. I'm gonna place it here to see. And here I want to maybe use some of my green. Again, there is there is no good or bad ways or wrong way, sorry. It's just whatever you feel like the colors they belong. In this case, I see that I have some yellow here that is close to this yellow, so I don't want this yellow to take away the attention from my center here. So I'm gonna retire that one and put it on the other side. And that's how I do it. I'll put some white here. And I think it's, I think I'm not gonna add more. I'm just gonna leave it like that. Maybe some, grassy in here and maybe some of the contrast colors not the same but this one and some blue Blue are, blue are very dark, so I'm, I'm going to be putting it on the side, but I'm going to be using some of this one here just to give it a little bit of, you know, a little more colorful um, background. I'm going to be using my glue, placing the pieces. And I think this is it, guys. I think I glue all my pieces there. So now you are going to be getting some thread, which is crushed glass to fill in in your ornament so that you have this you see this finishing part here? That's what we're gonna be adding now. I'm going to, you need to put some glue kind of like all over the place. So I go gently all around and I drop some, some glue. Whatever place you have the glue, 
the thread is gonna stay if you don't put glue the thread is gonna uh, just not stay so just try to put you know as much glue as, as you can in the empty spaces where you want your thread to stay another thing that we do here at the studio if you have hairspray uh, you can use hairspray to keep your thread in place Oh, I forgot to actually glue this one here, so I'm going to be using some glue to glue this part. And then now with my thread, I'm going to start placing it all around. It's okay if it goes on top of your glass, but what I do is that I actually clean it so that the color glass does not show any texture. I want the texture to show as part of the background, not necessarily as part of my flowers but if you feel that you want to add a little bit of texture to your flowers go ahead and put it on top of your um, tiles the glass tiles and then they will have some texture okay So I'm finishing with this part. And this is gonna be over soon, guys. So here we go. This is how it is. Beautiful, wonderful. So usually what I do is I put my glass back in the cups by color. And then that way we can reuse it. Okay, guys. I'm going to make sure that all my pieces of my tiles doesn't have any freed and voila look this is so pretty so let it dry for about 24 hours before you move it and yeah that's it i hope you enjoy it Okay, everyone, now that we finish our project, you want to let it dry for about 24 hours. You can put some hairspray on top of the, your glass project to make sure that the frit is staying in place. And after 24 hours, bring it to the studio. We'll put it in the kiln and then it will be ready, usually one week after you drop it off. And stay tuned. We are always putting new projects on our website. So I hope to see you again very soon, okay? Have a nice one. Bye-bye.